cannot forget. Never count them out. I mean, never. The 2017 New England Patriots, much like their Super Bowl comeback of yesteryear, started out slow. They teased us of a demise only to come out on top yet again. Like every late August, New England entered the season with mile-high expectations. Even a few pundits entertained thoughts of a 16-0 season. Week one, perfection dashed instantly. The Kansas City Chiefs crashed the Patriots' party and season opener, throttling the defending champs. The Patriots' defense looked lost. The offense and Brady looked vulnerable. Go-to player Julian Edelman was missing after his preseason ACL tear. Nothing was clicking. One month in, the Pats were 2-2 two and two with two home losses. We all asked, is this the end of the Patriots' reign? Then, like clockwork, New England dynasty kicked back into gear before having a forgetful night in Miami. But who hasn't had that night, right? Then came the game and the opponent that the Patriots had circled on their calendar all year long the Pittsburgh Steelers, with the one seed and home field advantage on the line. A classic matchup, vintage Brady with the late game winning drive, a wait, and some controversy. What's a Patriots win without a little drama and conspiracy, right? The ball didn't survive the ground, but the New England Patriots survived the biggest challenge of the year. As the calendar turned to the playoffs, the Pats had anything but a bye week to start the second season. An ESPN hit piece detailed a rift between Brady Belichick and owner Robert Kraft centered around Brady's unusual relationship with his trainer, Alex Guerrero, and Jimmy Garoppolo's trade to the Niners. Rome was on the verge of burning, and suddenly there were cracks in the longest-standing dynasty headed towards the end. Then a gift from the football gods. A divisional round matchup with the middling Titans. Easily disposable for the dynasty, right? Regardless of the noise. Now one team stood in the way of an eighth Super Bowl appearance. Pittsburgh! Wait, nope, not them. It was the Jacksonville Jaguars, just like everyone predicted. Home wreckers and trash talkers. The Jags stormed out to an early lead. They looked faster, fresher, younger, hungrier for the most of the game. Gronk goes out with an injury, and suddenly the Patriots' demise feels as real as the stitches on Brady's hand. But much like Bo Murray in Groundhog Day, we were stunned again to see the same thing happen as other years. Another Tom Brady fourth quarter comeback, leaving us all wonder why we ever question his greatness. Now the Patriots are back in the Super Bowl, an unprecedented six Super Bowl insights for Brady and Belichick, and despite the continued success, there's a real feeling that this could be it. Brady is 40, almost 41. Belichick is about to lose his top two coordinators, and there is little sense of a long-term plan. But regardless of the rumored rift, all things must come to an end, but not yet. Not this year. There is still one chapter left in the Patriots dynasty.